A new report is shedding light on how Metro Detroit hospitals are working to handle the opioid crisis. Our Grant Herms looks into the findings. In the last few years, the opioid epidemic has taken hundreds of thousands of lives. According to the CDC, in 2020 alone, more than 2,800 Michiganders died from opioid overdoses. But a new study from here in southeast Michigan and hospitals across Metro Detroit says there may be some hope on the horizon. Inside the new report conducted by a group of researchers from Johns Hopkins, Vital Strategies, Michigan's Department of Health and Community Foundation for Southeast Michigan, findings showing Michigan hospitals were able to make big strides in treating opioid overdoses and opioid users. The study looked at 19 hospitals across southeast and mid-Michigan, finding hospitals had weak protocols for overdoses in emergency rooms where patients weren't properly screened for opioid abuse, often lacked access to some of the most effective treatments, and were often not given follow-up visits after a non-lethal overdose. You want to make sure you're addressing all of, of their potential health care needs. So it, one, it starts with identifying whether a person may um, be in need of some form of attention. And secondly, it's having uh, clinical professionals, um, you know, that could be doctors and nurses, that could be others. Eric Halsey is a senior technical advisor for drug use, data and epidemiology at Vital Strategies, a global public health group and one of the organizations behind the study. And it may be the second or fifth time a person's been exposed to this. We need to do it every time. It may be the first person the first chance this person has ever been offered something that can be effective to, you know, um, help them focus on the other things in their life instead of, you know, uh, the, the, the condition they're struggling with. By the end of the study, every hospital reported having better protocols, hundreds of more patients treated and hundreds of more follow up visits, all of it meaning Michiganders in need of help got it and it could make them a model for the rest of the country exciting is the right word. It's really, it's wonderful to see. I also, I think it's a testament to that, that vision that, um, you know, I've had the privilege to observe in Michigan and really hopeful for elsewhere in the country that other hospitals, other states, other community orgs um, can consider and other hospitals can consider, you know, these types of strategies. Now the medicine from that study isn't Narcan. Narcan is meant to stop an overdose that is happening in that moment, although Narcan is available for free at most pharmacies across the state. In Detroit, Grant Herms, Local 4.